With me is Anna, and Anna's an alumni of the university. So Anna, would you like to introduce yourself, please? Yeah, sure, thank you. I'm, hi, I'm Anna Lisa. I grew up in the Philippines and now living and working in the United Arab Emirates. I studied at the University of Wolverhampton in 2016 and completed my master's degree in business administration. That's brilliant, thank you. And I hope you enjoyed your time with us at the university. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's lovely to know. So um, our Christmas time lecture this year is looking at the various different festivals and the way that people celebrate either December, winter or Christmas time. So you can you tell me a little bit about um, how um, Christmas time or uh, uh, winter festivals are celebrated in the Philippines? Yeah, sure. Uh, well, I grew up in a country where uh, Christmas celebration goes over overboard every year. <laughs> That's the Philippines. Night uh, Christianity is a the majority faith in the Philippines, which is about 90% of the total population, 80% of which comprises Catholic Christians. I'm a Catholic Christian. And it is our religious belief that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, was born in the night between December 24 and December 25. That is why Christians all over the world, including us, celebrate Christmas on that date. So you said that you went overboard. Can you tell me a little bit about how it's celebrated um, and, and what sort of things that you, you do to celebrate Christmas? Yes, um, actually Christmas season in the Philippines is one of the longest celebrations in the world and that starts as early as September 1 and runs into the second week of January. So it's wow. that long. The reason being that Filipinos have um, family-centric values and we believe that Christmas is the time of the year where we can unite and reunite with our families. So for our overseas uh, Filipino workers like me, we usually go home during Christmas and spend time with our family because we feel that it's very important. So in the Philippines, you would see, I mean, from this, the Christmas fever would start in September 1 and you would <laughs> see a lot of Christmas lanterns everywhere, um, such as reindeer, um, fake snow, Santa Claus, Christmas trees, but those are already influenced by Western Christians. We have the traditional one, which we call parol, and it's from the Spanish term farol, which means light. And so we prepare a star-shaped uh, Christmas decoration, which are being hung on the walls in our houses. And you can also see them like in many places like restaurants, malls and other establishments. Okay, so we also have the um, Misa de Gallo or the evening mass and some of us would start going to church from December 16 until December 24. They would complete like nine days of attending the evening Christmas masses and they make a wish, you know, and they believe that at the end uh, during the ninth day, I mean, as soon as they have completed the evening masses, they would, their wish would be granted. So some of us are, are believing that kind of thing. <laughs> so, but the most important one is the, um, is the Christmas um, before uh, midnight. I mean, the midnight mass during December 24, because that go that leads to the big um, Christmas day. So we attend mass during that night. And then after that, it is followed by a big celebration with the family with so much food, which we call Noche, Noche Buena. We also got it from the Spanish, you know, Spanish traditions because we were under the Spanish colony from 1565 to 1898 something. So it. It has been a long time for us with the Spaniards. That's why we have, you know, 
inherited a lot of their traditions. And we have Christmas carols like during those months, which we call the Burr months from September until December, we would hear a lot of Christmas carols like so many children would visit houses, sing some Christmas songs and the homeowners would give them candies, um, gifts or any kind of present or um, money. So it's just that's the traditional one, you know. So it's mm -hmm. the lovely things that you will see in the Philippines during Christmas. It's just so lively there. That sounds absolutely wonderful. Um, and do the families make the, the decoration together as, as, a, as a group? Uh, the, you mean the Christmas uh, parole? The Christmas, yes. Yeah, we do make, yeah, we, we make them together, yeah. Oh, wow, that sounds lovely. So um, it's, it's there a tradition of gift giving um, in the Philippines around Christmas? Yes, uh, for the company owners, we have a Christmas bonus and yeah, yeah and we call it Aguinaldo again. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's we call it Aguinaldo and again, it is from the uh, Spaniards. You know, it's a Spanish term for bonus. So some yeah. companies are giving this, um, giving the employees a Christmas bonus, you know, and um, for God, uh, God parents, they mm -hmm. feel obligated to give their God children, you know, any kind of gift because they have pledged during baptism that, you know, they would help with the upbringing, upbringing of the child. So that's why they feel obligated during Christmas to give them something. Mm -hmm. But for us, among, I mean, among our family members, we, we give each other, uh, each other a gift, but there is no particular requirement. I mean, we can give whatever we want to give. But if we have a Christmas and exchange gift with our friends, then on some occasions we would set a particular amount to make sure that no one buys so cheap, cheaper than what is expected. <laughs> and no one buys so much expensive than, you know, more expensive than what is expected of him or her. So we have that kind of um, gift giving and um, yes, we randomly pick up their paper, a rolled paper that contains a name in it. And mm -hmm. sometimes we put our wish list to make sure that we get what we really want <laughs> during the exchange <laughs> gift. So it's just like that. Otherwise, we are, we are free to give whatever we want to give. That sounds great. Um, what sort of foods do you eat um, around Christmas? Are there any special like Christmas in the UK? We have a Christmas dinner with turkey. Um, do, do you have any any special foods that you eat around that time? Yeah, we also have that. The oh. turkey. That's yeah, we also have that. I think we got it from you. <laughs> <laughs> but we have a roasted pig. We call it okay. lechon. And it's a, a big pig on the table. Okay, we have uh, pasta, rice cakes, um, salad, fruit salad, and rice, of course, because it's the staple food <laughs> in the Philippines. <laughs> so these are the, the, the foods that we normally prepare on Christmas. That sounds wonderful. And you talked about Christmas going on into the second week of January. Um, is it just celebrating with family or are there any particular um, activities or traditions that, that take you through into January? Yeah, actually, the uh, Christmas celebration culminates on in the 25th of December officially, mm -hmm. but then we still have like some other celebrations such as the Santo Nino which we celebrate in one particular uh, city in the Philippines, uh, Cebu. It's mm -hmm. called the Christ Child and there is a parade, you know, carrying that Christ Child and, you know, dancing um, on the streets. So this is actually still part of Christmas. So that's why, like I said, it runs into the second week of January. <laughs> that sounds wonderful. You said that you you now live in the United Arab Emirates, and um, so it, is Christmas very different there, or um, 
um, how how is how is um, the the winter time celebrated um, in in the United Arab Emirates? Yeah. Well, the United Arab Emirates has, holds high respect for different religious celebrations, which is very crucial in you know embracing the diversity because there are so many nationalities here. So local, so uh, the country respects. Uh, Christian celebrations. You can also see Christmas lanterns displayed at the malls, hotels, and other establishments, some of which were left during their uh, UAE National Day, which they celebrate in the second day of December. Yeah. So some of those, you know, decors they would leave for, for Christmas time. And you will also hear uh, Christmas songs played at the malls, you know, and also the churches offer uh, masses for, for Christmas. So we still feel that uh, Christmas is being celebrated like if we were in the Philippines, but it's just that our families, if, if they're not here, unfortunately, then we have to celebrate it by ourselves. But if we are lucky and if our families are here, then we, we, it would be much happier. Otherwise, we would just celebrate it the, the same way, like we go to church and then we reach home, prepare food, we wait for the Christmas time, you know. So it's just like that. Like, I I think there is, there is no much difference. Yeah. That's brilliant. So thank you so much for telling us about your experiences of, of Christmas in the Philippines and in the United Arab Emirates. Uh, we really appreciate you, you sharing that with us.